Hello, dear partners. My name is Alex Buslo. I am hardware specialist in Gurtam. My colleagues and I usually assist you with integration of devices and setting them up in VLO. That is another Gurtam uh, meetup which we hold online every Thursday. I want to pay your attention that the webinar will be recorded and you will be able to watch it later on Gurtam YouTube channel. All links and materials will be available in the video description too. Also, I'd like to note that behind the screen I will be assisted by my colleague Viktor Yaravenka. He is hardware specialist also. Viktor will answer your questions in the course of this webinar. Today, I and my friend Lemmy uh, will speak about video in VLON. When it started and where are we going to move? And in particular, we are going to highlight CMS V6 integration with VLON. All in all, uh, this meetup will be useful for those who would like to know more about video integration in VLON. Lately, we will go and got a bunch of questions uh, from partners about video devices in VLON, uh, the available options of working with video and important settings which should be done to get precious live stream in the system. So, let's start with the statistics. We have about 20 video hardware manufacturers we alone is integrated with, and 5,000 video units in VLON in total. Uh, this figure includes devices working through CMS V6 servers. Uh, first video, it's, it's not much, but first video devices was integrated with VLON five years ago, and the price for such kind of devices is quite high, so the result seems to be good. Uh, the very first device integrated with VLON was KP1 by Smart Witness. Um, KP1 uh, sends video files and photos based on various triggers uh, like hash acceleration, braking, or sharp cornering. Also, you can uh, get video or photo by request. Uh, to sum up, uh, KP1 allows to request photo and video files up to 20 seconds uh, and get video files and photos based on various triggers. I see um, this kind of devices is more a uh, dash cam uh, than multifunctional MDVR. Uh, the scheme of the work is very similar to a usual GPS tracker. So let's take a look to the scheme of this work. Yeah. Uh, this device uh, sends telematic data like coordinates, speeds, time, and direction uh, as a usual tracker. Uh, when it receives a uh, request media command, it starts to send the data directly to the platform. Uh, moreover, the device can detect preset events and automatically send photos or videos triggered by those events. Uh, at this moment, uh, KP1 still can work with VLON via API from the manufacturer or directly. Okay. Uh, yet, uh, photo and short video request uh, features didn't meet all requirements from our partners and from the market itself. Therefore, implementation of live stream feature was just a matter of uh, time and depends on manufacturers who were ready to provide the appropriate equipment. Uh, and we found those manufacturers, of course. Uh, in the case of KP1 device, uh, we are hardly can call it a video tracker, uh, while devices like Hoven and Streamax, because those devices are much closer to a solution uh, which can be both AOL and MDVR. Those two manufacturers have uh, devices that can scale up the internal memory with SD card or SSD. Uh, all true, by our experience, if the device works 24 hours, 7 days a week and has 4 com connected cameras, uh, 500 gigabytes uh, can be enough only for 48, 60 hours of video record. Another feature of uh, Streamax and Hoven MDVRs uh, is the option to connect more cameras uh, than KP1. It can be connected only with two cameras. 
So, we integrated those video devices and the following options have become available in VLAN. Photo and video request up to 20 seconds from the device memory. Photo and video request uh, up to tw 20 seconds in real time. In the other words, uh, from the moment of receiving uh, the common record live stream. Request of photo and video triggered by event. The events uh, are triggered by the device. And live stream, of course. I would like to admit that uh, the live stream feature is more complicated in the terms of device server communication and you may see it uh, on the following scheme. So let's take a look to the scheme where it is. Oh, okay. Uh, as you may see on this scheme, the communication is handled in two directions. Uh, if we speak about telematic data, photo and video requested from the device, in this case, it's a standard way of communication. Data is sent directly uh, from the device to the platform. Live stream is transmitted to the intermediate server. Intermediate, it's like my English level, but server, okay? Uh, which converts the stream in RTMP or HLS format and then send it to the user browser. You might be surprised, but, uh, the, fact, uh, but the fact that Vialon doesn't uh, play live stream. Uh, this is done by your browser. All live stream traffic bypasses Vialon and doesn't interact with the platform. The interaction takes place uh, on the front end level uh, of the visualization in your browser. Uh, this scheme differs uh, from the classic VLON performance uh, when the server first received all data from the device and then decodes and displays it. Uh, you may ask me why Gurtam implement the live stream option in such a complicated way. There is a few reasons. Uh, first, the integration depends on what Streamax and Hoven uh, could offer. Both provided uh, customers with their proprietary intermediate server uh, for converting the live stream. So we needed to integrate this solution. Both of the intermediate servers, Streamax and Hoven, transmitted live stream in RTMP format. Uh, now Streamax can also work in HLS format also uh, by FTVision. Uh, currently, those manufacturers are quite interested in working with VLON platform and modify the firmware by request of our common customers or Gurtam request. We are in a close contact with the manufacturer and works on integration of full functionality of the devices with VLON. Uh, what's more, we have Hoven and Streamax uh, sample devices in our office, uh, which speed up the integration process, of course. Uh, both manufacturers uh, provide customers with an option to set up an intermediate server by themselves, which reduce the delay in the live stream plane. Okay, uh, so now we smoothly approached SMS V6. Uh, so what is it? SMS V6 is a server solution, Windows program, uh, which allows to receive data from various MDVRs via API requests. Let's have a look to the scheme of operation. Okay, so a little bit complicated. Uh, as you see, in the case of the device, um, in this case, device uh, don't work directly with VLON at all. All communication is handled via API requests through SMS V6. Uh, today we have a brief manual which describes uh, the particulars of setting up SMS V6 units in VLON. You can download the manual uh, at SMS V6 gateway page at gurtam.com hardware section. Uh, or you can also find link to this manual under this video. What uh, what are benefits of SMS V6 integration? First of all, no need to integrate of each and every MDVR separately. Integration of video devices uh, usually takes much longer than ordinary avail track. With SMS V6, you don't have to wait. If MDVR can work 
with CMAX V6, it means that device can work with Vialon also. Uh, currently, the following manufacturers confirm integration of their MDVRs with CMAX V6. Here it's, you can see the list of those devices. It's a SOA, it's a Kyoha Electronics, it's a M2M Media Group, TNET, Jetstar Electronics, and BibleStar. The last one, BibleStar, according to our information, is the developer of CMAS V6 platform. Or maybe Chinese government, who knows. Uh, so let's get back to the benefits. Uh, no limits for duration of requested video. As you know, uh, in Vialon we have limited uh, the duration of requested video files to 20 seconds. The reason of it is the space needed to store those files. The size of uh, 20 second video files uh, differs a lot from the size of standard telematic data packet um, contain up to 155 parameters. So, SMAS V6 solves this issue um, because the requested photo and video files are stored on SMAS V6 server on your computer. Uh, in Vialon, you just get a link for playing video or photo display. That's all. Therefore, a partner can choose for himself how long to store requested photo or video files and manage the storage independently. Uh, also, it's important note that the four correct video transmission in Vialon, um, it is required to set up a proxy server on the site of CMS V6 and configure it so that the data is transmitted via HTTPS connection. Otherwise, your browser wouldn't be able to display in a mini window unsecured HTTP stream because Vialon works via HTTPS. Uh, this issue concerns only CMS V6 and is caused by stream link format. For example, Hoven uh, or Streamax stream links started with RTMP and the browser allows for its display. Uh, we like to admit that CMS V6 has uh, own mechanism for converting HTTP traffic into HTTPS, but unfortunately it works incorrectly very often, so it's better to, to use uh, proxy server. Yeah, another important thing about CMS V6 device type in Vialon is that the unit is never online in your system. In other words, the e icon uh, of the device connection, uh, this dot, is always gray. That is because it works, device uh, works uh, via API request and there is no uh, data transmission uh, between device and uh, Vialon all works through CMAS V6. Uh, okay, now let's speak about the process of communication. Uh, the process of communication is quite simple uh, because uh, the device sends data to the CMAS V6 server with a preset time range. Uh, from the VLON side, every minute we make a request via API to, the, to your CMAS V6 and take the available data for the period. Uh, initially, we alone will make in those requests one per, min per three minutes. Uh, but later, by demand of our partners, we increase this frequency uh, of the requests. Nevertheless, uh, not every request end ends up with uh, receiving data, unfortunately. Sometimes, CMS V6 respond, uh, responds to only one from three requests and gives data for the last three minutes. But anyway, it's okay because you anyway get uh, all data from the device, from all data that uh, available in CMS V6 server. Uh, as you know, Flash Player supported, support will be ended in December 2020. Uh, CMS V6 supports HLS format which means that uh, live stream will still work. Uh, in Vialon, to receive stream in HLS format, uh, please describe the checkbox prefer flash player for the live stream 
in advanced settings of the device type in your Vialon account. By the way, uh, Hovind devices can also uh, work via SMS V6, while Streamax hardware uh, has after vision, which doesn't use flash. So we hope that all will be good after disabling of flash player. Okay, uh, it's quite, uh, okay, that's all that I wanted to share with you. Now I would like to, uh, my colleague Viktor Yaravenka to join me. Viktor will answer uh, all the questions about the video on Vialon that we already have in chat. Hello, Victor. How are you? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Victor, and let's start answering the questions. Uh, at this time, we see the question from Peter, and uh, Hovan informed us that they are integrated with CMS v6. Any reason it's not mentioned on the slide shared? Uh, actually, uh, CMS v6 uh, is integrated with uh, all uh, Chinese devices, including Hoven. Uh, but we uh, suggest you to use uh, use Hoven with Vialon uh, in is as direct uh, protocol because it's already implemented in Vialon. But if you want to use Hoven devices with uh, Vialon via CMS, it's also available, and uh, you can use it the same as any other. Uh, CMS v V6 device. Just uh, point the device to uh, CMS V6 device type in Vialon and use instruction for any other CMS V6 uh, device and it will work the same. Uh, the second questions we received in other channel uh, it's uh, what period of for video is available to request and uh, it depends on the HDD uh, or, or, or MDVR uh, storage and the files uploaded to CMS v6 server that's why uh, if your device ha has a long period of time you can request it Something happened? Uh, uh, Victor... Uh, I don't understand what happened a little bit. Do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Uh, uh, okay, uh, the next question uh, is HTTPS uh, required for work? Uh, I didn't quite understand the volume of HTTP functionality and uh, the answer is yes HTTPS is tr uh, strictly necessary because uh, Vialon works via secured connection and uh, uh, browsers need uh, also secured connection for external uh, web links that's why uh, for your HTTP uh, for your CMS v6 uh, uh, it also need uh, secured HTTPS connection. Uh, and uh, the last question, how can I get a detailed manual for CMS v6? And uh, unfortunately, we don't have detailed manual for CMS v6 server uh, because uh, it's um, developed by m m other developers and we, uh, the only a manual which we have it is a manual how to uh, start work with CMS v6 in Vialon and it's available in the specification area on our website. Uh, also I see the question from uh, Geiba. Is there any advantage to use Hoven CMS uh, v6 over 
context uh, of a stream of division with VLAN, how by data encryption, uh, data, data compression, is there any significant difference? Uh, actually, uh, we, Streamx FT Vision, and uh, I, I can't uh, compare Streamx FT Vision with CMS V6. Uh, um, uh, let, let, let us ask, uh, answer this question a little bit later because at this time it's not clear a little bit. And Peter. Uh, Peter added one more question. Any plan on changing the web interface for requesting historical video from VLAN for home devices? The current one is not user friendly. Uh, actually, it, uh, this question is also connected to uh, home devices, but not uh, CMS V6. Uh, that's why let's discuss it maybe. Uh, sending the email to hwgurton.com. Is there a particular proxy server you recommend? Uh, no, we don't recommend any proxy server. Uh, we, we don't know the exact details. Uh, it's better to consult with uh, supplier of your device and CMS v6. Uh, at this time, I don't see any questions. OK, there is uh, no really any additional questions in this moment. Uh, also about HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, if you don't use HTTPS, so uh, no proxy server from the CMS v6 site, uh, you will get uh, all the information uh, except live stream. So uh, you can requi request photo and videos from the uh, device to CMS V6, and then you will uh, have a links f to display it in the VLON. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, live stream without uh, proxy server will not work. So th th this is the main uh, issue why we ask you to uh, setting up proxy server from the CMS v6 site. So maybe we have some question already, or that's all? Victor? No. I, I see one more question uh, from IG. Uh, what is the maximum streaming time uh, that is possible for live streaming? For example, body long cameras used uh, by the police. How long can we live transmit? Uh, I think it also depends on CMS v6 uh, server and uh, if it is streamed by uh, CMS and uh, all settings are available in VLON and it's switched on in VLON, it will continue to uh, show this stream. But it's better to test, that's why we haven't tested it yet. Um. And. Uh, one more question. I, uh, I thought there was going to be a support to HTML5. Uh, HTML5 is maybe it's HLS uh, string uh, format, but I'm not sure. Uh, regarding um, live stream limits uh, from VLON side, there is no limit to live stream because Again, it's uh, it's like uh, just your browser and CMS v6. Uh, from from one si side, it's your browser. From the other side, it's CMS v6 server. Uh, but uh, anyway, Victor is right. You need to test uh, live stream because it can be limits from limits for for the duration of the one session from your uh, GSM operator, for example, and it, it, stream can be uh, disabled after some time from the um, uh, GSM operator, from your mobile operator, for example. Yeah, okay.
Any additional questions? Please. Victor? Mm, I don't see any questions. Okay, let, should we wait for one more minute? Um, okay, so we have no more questions and um, let's sum up. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, it's yeah, so far so good. Not uh, Quick meetup, good meetup, I think. Uh, next Tuesday, uh, sorry, next Thursday, uh, November the 1st, my colleague Gizelia, uh, we are on business development management from, manager from Boston office, will uh, host a meetup, sales techniques for the video telematics. Our partners with broad experience in this sphere will share their knowledge of the topic. Uh, see you there. Have a nice day, uh, stay safe, stay strong, and long life Belarus. Goodbye.